In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 best class setups that you guys can use to get high scoring gameplays and get to the max prestige in Modern Warfare 2 as the Season 1 dropping. That being said, let's get to the video. So for the first gun that we're going to take a look at is the M4. This is my favorite gun in the game by far. And this class setup absolutely slaps. Starting off with the muzzle, we have the Echoline GSX. This is going to give you sound suppression and recoil smoothness. So it's going to be really nice when you're in objective-based game modes. You're going to lose a little bit of damage range, but that's perfectly fine. For the underbarrel, we're using the Schlager Tango. I really like this because it's going to give hip fire accuracy and walking steadiness and recoil steadiness. Again, you're going to lose a little bit of aim down sight speed, but I still think across the board that when it comes down to it, this is the best one to use. Now, for the barrel, we're using the Tempest Trench Pro. I really like this because it'll give you that movement speed and aim down sight speed. You're going to lose a little bit of bullet velocity and recoil control, but I do think that it is probably the best one to use outside of the High Tower 20 barrel, but keep in mind with this one, you do lose again hip recoil control movement speed and aim down sight speed so there is that to keep in mind for the stack we're using the tempest p80 strike now i really like this because it's going to give you aim down sight speed crouch movement speed walking speed and sprint speed which is very crucial in this game now you can also use things like the demo fade pro which is going to just give you aim walking and sprint speed or the buffer tube which is going to give you a ton of amazing things, but you're going to lose flinch, aiming stability, and aiming recoil control. And lastly, for the rear grip, we're using the X10 grip. This is going to give you sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, but you're going to lose a little bit of recoil control. Now, the next one that we're taking a look at is the Castoff 74U. Starting out with the muzzle, we got the Sakin Tread 40. I really like this because it gives vertical and horizontal recoil control while giving up aim down sight speed and aiming stability. But this gun is absolutely overpowered, so you don't necessarily need to have it. Now, for the underbarrel, we're using the Lock Grip Precision 40. This is going to give you hip fire accuracy, recoil steadiness, and aim walking steadiness. You're going to lose a little bit of aim down sight speed. So again, you can choose to use something like the Shark Fin 90, the X10 Drop Grip, or some of these other ones here, even like the Brulin Tilt Grip. Now for the barrel, we're using the SA Ultra 3. I personally really like this because it's going to give you that aim down sight speed, the hip ro recoil control, and the movement speed. There are some of these other ones that you can use though, like the BR209, which is going to give you the same stuff. A little bit less bullet velocity and recoil control but as you can see it probably is going to be the best one to go with moving forward now for ammunition i'm using the 5.45 over pressured and the reason why i like this one is because it gives a target flinch i do lose a little bit of recoil control so you know that's something that you're going to see across all these types of ammunitions but personally i just think that this one is the best one because of that damage increase. And lastly, for the rear grip, we're using the Ivanov ST70 grip. This is going to give you flinch resistance and walking movement speed is decreased, but I still think that it's very good across the board. Now for the TAC 56, this is a class that I recently just started rebuilding and everything, and it is absolutely massively overpowered. Starting with the muzzle, we're using the Echoless 80 this gives you sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. Losing a little bit of aim down sight speed and aiming stability. But this is the best one to use for this particular gun. Now for the underbarrel, we're using the Shark Fin 90 on this one just to have that aiming idle stability, which is going to be very crucial. Now for the magazine, we're using the 40 round magazine. I really want the most amount of ammunition I can that's also not going to slow down the gun and personally for me 40 rounds is enough to kill multiple enemies before having to reload and at the same time not you know really take the gun down a notch and lastly for the rear grip we're using the FSS combat grip this is just going to be really great across the board with recoil control and aiming stability now you can add a barrel to this but keep in mind that most of the barrels on this gun are not necessarily the best. 
If I had to pick anyone, I would go with the 17.5 Tundra Pro because it's going to give you that bullet velocity and damage range across the board. Now, the next gun that we have is the Castoff 762. This is one of my favorite, I would say, top two AR in the game when it comes down to it. First, we have the Castovia DX90 for the muzzle. This is going to give you sound suppression, bullet velocity, recoil smoothness, and recoil control. It is absolutely insane. Now, obviously, I do not have all the attachments for this picked out yet, but just... With this one on there already from a you know standpoint, it has been absolutely now for the underbarrel. We're using the Schlager Tango. As I mentioned, this has hip fire accuracy and walking steadiness and recoil steadiness, so it is absolutely great. Now for the barrel, we're using the Custovia 343. This is gonna give you aim down sight speed and hip recoil control. You're gonna lose a little bit of damage range and bullet velocity being more important. But there are certain things that you can do to fix this, such as using the 406 or, you know, even using the IGK-30, which is going to help out across the board. Now for ammunition, I'm using the 7.62 hollow points, and this is going to give me crippling power, lose a little bit of bullet velocity and penetration, but it is really going to help and you know make sure that i win the gunfights because it's slowing enemies down and disabling their sprint for a short time and lastly for the stock we're using the kstv rpk factory stock i really like this one because it's going to have that aim and stability and recoil control you can use something though like the cast off rama which is not going to lower your aim down sight speed or anything of that sort but I personally just like this one. Now, the next gun is the Lockman 556. This is one of my favorite ones to use when it comes down to it. And it is absolutely insane. First, for the muzzle, we're using the Broadhead 30P. This is going to get sound suppression, recoil smoothness, and recoil control. You can use, obviously, the Echo Line or the Echo 80. But personally, for me, this has been absolutely overpowered when it comes down to it. Now, for the underbarrel, we're using the Lock Grip Precision 40. This is going to give you hip fire accuracy, recoil steadiness, and aim walking steadiness. You'll lose a little bit of aim down sight speed, but I personally don't notice it that much. Now, for the barrel, we're using the Lockman Wrap 15.9 inch barrel. This is really great for bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and everything in between. And for the stock, we're using the RAP 762 factory stock. I personally really like this for the aiming stability that it gives. I just feel extremely like not missing a single shot when playing with this and everything. And lastly, guys, for the magazine, we're using the 40 round mag. Again, this is really going to help out across the board with killing enemies and at the same time, just making sure you have enough ammo for gunfights. Now, the next one I have is for the Lockman Sub. I don't have all the attachments for this, so this is sort of a work in progress. But right now, the two that I've been really rolling with on this class are just essentially the Schlager Tango, which I've shown multiple times in this video, and the FTAC M Sub 12 Barrel, because it's just really great across the board. Now, the next one I have for you guys is the STB 556. This is a top five overall gun in the game across the board is absolutely nasty when it comes down to it first for the muzzle we're using the echoline gsx again just across the board you guys see that i love using this now for the barrel we're using the 18 bruin gorilla i really like using this one particularly because of that recoil control and bullet velocity but there are some other here like the 24.41 that you can use just do keep in mind that you're going to trade out some things, but in this case, I think that this is going to be the best one to use. For the optic, we're using the ZZ Mini. The reason why I like this is while the iron sights on the STB 556 are great, the Mini just makes it a lot better when aiming. Now, for the comb, we're using the Schlager TTF3 riser, and I personally just really like this one because it has that ammo reserve. Losing a little bit of aim down sight speed, but you can also use the C11 riser, which is going to give you sprint to fire and aim down sight speed. So, and lastly, we're using a 42 round magazine on this gun, so we have a lot of ammo when it comes down to it. And overall, 
is really going to help out when it comes down to gunfights. Now, the next gun that I have. Now, the next one is the MX-9. This is a really overpowered gun when it comes down to it for an SMG. And I mean that literally. So, starting off with the muzzle, we're using the Luxshot KT-85. This is going to give you both horizontal and vertical recoil control. You lose a little bit of aiming stability and aim down sight speed. Now, for the barrel, we're using the 508mm rear guard. I would like this one because it has damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. But there are some other ones here that you can use, like the 16.5 Bruin, that are really going to be great across the board. Or even the 16.5 STB Factory. And again, it's still going to be great. All three of these are just dominant. Now for the stock, we're using the Bruin HCR56. This is going to give you aiming stability and recoil control. You are going to lose though, aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, crouch movement, and sprint speed. So do keep that in mind when it comes down to it. Otherwise, you can use the STB556 stock and lose, you know, a little bit less. But now, additionally, for the gun, we're using the 32-round magazine. Again, this is just going to help across the board with having the max amount of ammo I can possibly have and not losing out on gunfights or anything of the sort. And lastly, guys, I have the Fennec 45. I've only played with this a little bit, so I have no attachments for it right now, but that is how it is. And to show you guys the kill streaks that I'm using, I'm currently using the UAV, the SAE, and the VTOL J. And using this combination, I am easily able to drop 40, 50, 60 kill games most of the time. And it is just overwhelmingly overpowered. I think it's actually quite nice that you can get streaks in this game pretty easily. I would say, though, that if you're really feeling risky, you can run SAE, VTOL, and Chopper Gunner. And it'll absolutely just destroy lobbies. So that is all the class subs that I have for you guys. So those are all the class subs that I have for you guys and everything. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like down below. Let me know what your favorite gun is as of Season 1. And of course, with that being said, guys, my name is Tristan Ortiz, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.